So we are in Burleson, Texas. We are at the home of uh, our client, Lee, and she is putting together a private retreat, a spiritual private retreat for people. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful space for people just to come and get some respite, do some yoga, take in the art. We're really honored to be here. And we wanted to make it look like you're stepping into another world. And every building has its own thing. I just had one in my hand. Does this work? I believe this is Kay and Travis's design. Um, and I'm doing a little ladybug on a white daisy. I am Cammy, Cammy Dale. Um, I am a muralist. Um, window painter, just painter of all sorts, and a mama of three. So professionally, I think I started painting, um, I want to say, in about 2012 um, as kind of like a last ditch effort to be a stay-at-home mom and still try to make some money. Um, and it kind of gave me the confidence to go from there and build on it. So I've done a lot of work for Spiral Diner. Um, and I continue to currently also working with them right now when I'm not here <laughs> doing some window painting. I have been following Brad on social media for years. I was interested in seeing how he did things because as kind of a baby muralist, I was really curious about, I didn't have a mentor. I was just winging it and learning by myself. I've, I never had worked with anyone else doing these sorts of things. And I was really curious about the, how muralists who do the scale of murals that he does, um, how they do it. What is the process like? Um, because I was interested in that. And so I started watching and looking, uh, what's the word, quietly, <laughs> I was talking, I'm, I started quietly observing. So definitely keep that in there. <laughs> I just never, it never occurred to me that I should reach out and say, hey, would you like, you know, like, do you need help? Do you need an assistant? And I was trying to create a resume after not having worked for anybody else for 20 years. And it was the worst thing ever. <laughs> and sliding into Brad's DMs wasn't as terrifying as it was before <laughs> because making a resume was a nightmare. Because we work very collaboratively, not just with the other artists that we pull in, and we've been very fortunate in attracting the best of the best, but also too, I think our success is rooted in really working hand in hand with our clients, asking the questions, listening to the answers, and finding out what their vision is, and then we, again, put our creative spin on it. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I'm working on a little sign here for a little scooter shop, a little moped shop going on. And something different, kind of bring it out, kind of let it pop out a little bit. Everything's cut out of wood, hand cut. No CNC at this point. Um, sprocket was all cut out, you know, by hand. And a little, actually, little patio lights put in to change his colors. Brad had some good ideas about how he wanted the, the sign drawn out. So he wanted to kind of blend in. He wanted some wrenches to show, show the shop. An arrow to show that the actual uh, shop is right here. So why not, what's the best way to do it? Just kind of blend the, the tools into the sign, let, let it transfer into an arrow pointing to the shop. You have to, once you get the wires there, they figure out where you want to go. You really have to get to the back of it, to the meat of it, and get your, your lighting just right and your wiring just right, and then find, find your ways to hook, it's going to be hooked up to the building and so on. So it's kind of, kind of unique in its own way, but and now I'm just kind of touching up the sign a little bit. But this kind of shows that uh, a blending of, of uh, old style signage along with tools that you use for a shop and then showing the old arrows. So kind of blending in a lot of different things to get to, to a unique point. Uh, this, is, this is like the ultimate place. This ultimate shop. Anywhere with all the woodworking tools, 
that you need, the hand tools, electric tools, battery operated. Uh, this is where we actually cut out the, the, uh, the and uh, draw out the dragon that we're going to put up later on and work with a little bit more. We have CNC machines that uh, we can actually go ahead and start using later on for metal and stuff like that. And you can almost build anything. Everything's unlimited. Hey everybody, Bob Barker here. If you want to subscribe, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Oh, hey, hey everybody, if you want to subscribe, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Okay, hey everybody, if you want to like us, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe. Subscribe. Comment. Comment. Like. Like. Share the crap out of it. I mean, share it. If you take a bunch of my art classes, you might even be able to get, get to out there and paint on it. Come on, let's, let's, let's paint every town we can find. Tilt Vision Art. Thanks for watching. Look at it from here. It continues inward. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, as it happened, your dad was out of town. So, when the cat's away, the mice will play, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, I really wanted to give Lee a gift. She was away on a uh, retreat vacation herself and I was house sitting for her. And she had mentioned that, you know, she very rarely had flowers bought for her. And she had given us such a gift of the opportunity that I talked with Travis. It's like, you know, let's just give her a forever bouquet. And it was really just a labor of love and fun, and uh, I want to do more of them, actually. <laughs> I would love to do more of these. The sensory part of it, the texture of paint and the color that is extremely like satisfying and appealing to me. I was very intimidated by it at first, and once I realized with acrylics that you can't really make a mistake, and if you do, you, you can just paint right over it. It's even, even easier than a pencil eraser, you know. It took away any fear that I had. I love how peaceful it is compared to face painting. <laughs> I think I accidentally went home with some brushes in my pocket. Yep, brushes in my pocket last night. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I think a lot of people um, wish that they were doing something like this, but never thought that they could which is totally not true. Um, people say all the time, oh, I don't have a creative bone in my body, and I always argue with them. It's, I, I think that everybody is creative in some capacity. So I think people are interested and they think, oh, you can do this kind of thing for work. It's kind of fun to give people some hope that they don't have to work at a job that they don't love.